So Brighton 2, Fulham 1. I wasn't expecting Fulham to get two goals tonight. Brighton been very, very good defensively. So that's the most they've conceded all season. But Fulham very, very good. Were it not for a missed penalty in game week two, Mitrovic would have returned in every game week so far. The whole team is built around him. He looks sensational. Now it spurs up next for him, followed by Chelsea. But Chelsea not exactly covering themselves defensively in glory tonight either on a pretty awful, by the way, looking St Mary's pitch. But... So the Chelsea game, I don't think, holds any fear for Mitrovic. If you've got him, you absolutely hold. Just whether I'm going to bring him in ahead of Spurs, possibly not. But when it gets to Chelsea, and then after that, the fixtures turn for Fulham and Mitrovic. That's when I'll act. Andreas Pereira gets the assist as well, because he was the one that crossed for that own goal. So fair play. And if you bought in Dunk, that's just unlucky, right? Getting on the Brighton defence is the right thing to do, despite tonight's result. I think they're still worthy of investment. Pascal Gross needs to pull his socks up, though. 